And turning to the United States, federal regulators there have set a deadline for eliminating man-made trans fat in all food products manufactured in the country. Now that includes a tasty treats from popular cookies and frozen pizza to even coffee creamers. It's a move that's even prompting other countries such as Korea to follow suit. Our Kim Jian has more. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has given food manufacturers three years to remove all artificial trans fats from their products. Trans fat is formed when hydrogen is added to liquid oils to make solid fats, like shortening and margarine, used to enhance food flavor and shelf life. The agency expects the move will help reduce cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. Uh, it's time to address and, and really phase out the remaining uses of trans fat in the diet so that we can reduce the incidence of, of heart disease and deaths uh, resulting from, from heart attack. The FDA categorizes partially hydrogenated oils, the primary source of artificial trans fat, as not generally recognized as safe. In 2006, the agency began requiring manufacturers to label the trans fat content on packaged foods. Other countries, including Denmark, Austria, Iceland, and Switzerland, have already banned trans fats over health concerns. And Korea is following suit. A study on trans fat by the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety shows a significant drop in trans fat in local snacks in recent years. The amount of trans fat in the 147 snacks surveyed was 0.05 grams per serving, a 93 percent drop during the seven year period from 2005 to 2012. Kim Jiang. I don't use.